Hey guys, Coach John. Coach A. GF2Revolution.com. Sweat intervals for the second time. Whoo! And ab attack afterwards. Oh my goodness. So, gracious. Debbie did 615. I did 742 and 37 seconds in ab attack. What I've learned is every day is a different day. So, yeah. yes, I want to beat my time, but if I don't get as far, I can't get in my head and worry about it either. Because today, I'm trying to beat today. Do the best mm -hmm. I possibly can do today. So, Yes, focus on the numbers, use that as a goal, but don't let it get in your head where you get upset. Like last night, I was upset that I didn't get past my yeah. my max out time. So don't let that derail you. You're doing great for pushing play. Or switch it up, make your max out time drop, but get more reps or a faster go. pace Push in the time frame. All right, we gotta jump in. All right, guys. increased our maxes Yay, woo -woo. but this shit's building on top of each other it was it was hard today it was hard so I did I moved my max from six, six, 15. 15 to 623 so just a little but it's better this than thing. nothing um, but I was just taxed like I felt very nauseous like doing a lot of the squats and stuff like anything that was crunching it made me feel very sick and I just was very fatigued throughout I felt like I couldn't push like I normally do so that was a problem for me. Um, I did beat my max out time, but the workout wasn't as awesome as it was like yesterday, where I felt like I was really in it and focused and going. So like even with cardio challenge, we both were in it a lot harder. And dare I say this time, we both took more breaks, longer breaks, and weren't Just in it as out. long. Like I couldn't do it. Yeah, and we both ate good today. Mm -hmm. We had good breakfast. We had a snack. Anything? We had slight uh, like. I take protein and apple an about an hour before in my Eni, and uh, it just it just wasn't there. Either I'm maxed and loaded from like the workouts, like you know my quads felt it a lot today. Uh, I don't know if just fatigued or hitting a tipping point. I don't know what it is, but it was hard today. That's all I can mm -hmm. say. This is day ten. Woo woo, day ten. So we're in it. Um, I went from 7:42 was my last time. Today I got at 8:26, woo -woo! and I ain't gonna lie, I kept my pace. My my uh, squats were a bit deeper today, so I wasn't as fast, but I kept the same pace, just deeper range of motion, which is harder. Um, and just going through it, I had problems, like Debbie talked about yesterday, she stopped, in essence, prematurely because she did a thing and she wobbled and it was iffy and she stopped because you lost your form. I had that happen to me a lot today, not for my max out time, but later in that workout, I was doing the burpee lunges, and the... Uh, and you know, I, I had to check my ego and modify. If I'm that tired, I can't mm -hmm. focus to keep in it. Just take wow. a break or modify and keep going so I have good form. Yeah, we are dead tired and sweating and dripping and crazy. So we're going to wrap this up here for you. But we'll see you guys next time. If you guys have questions, email us at info at gf2revolution.com. We'd love to hear from you. Leave comments. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.